Before we were Canadians or Americans, we were Red River Métis without borders. And that's why it's important we come down here to Fargo, North Dakota to talk to our cousins about our modern day treaty. The leadership, uh, not only within the Red River Métis community, within our nation, but also Canada and the United States are recognizing that there's communities such as ours that are, that are divided, been uh, split by borders, whether those borders be international borders, such as the, the US-Canada border, or whether it be uh, provincial or interstate uh, borders as well. It's important for us to be here to see the people uh, who are still uh, part of our nation um, and there's a lot of people here who are connected to us and uh, to be able to uh, tell them that they're welcome to be home, uh, welcome to be a part of our nation, welcome to be a part of our government, but also uh, with this initiative to see the great strides that and what this treaty symbolizes, which is uh, really a new era that we're walking into here. We prevailed in the context of ensuring that our Métis uh, citizens, no matter where they live, still have the rights protection of Section 35 of our Constitution, which really uh, sets the parameters of Indigenous rights in this country, in Canada. So that is something you still have and still own. Although you're an American citizen, uh, you come to our, our, our homeland, you're part of our family. It really promotes being inclusive. It's not just one smaller group, but yet we're part of a bigger group beyond borders. Um, it makes me feel like I have ownership in it. To be invited to a meeting is huge. And it's very important for not only for me and my generation, but for my kids and their generation so that they learn that they're still a part of something too. Down in North Dakota, some of the, I, I believe there's some of the best Mitchell speakers are still here uh, in this area. Uh, they still play the fiddle, they still dance the jig. They are us. Um, so uh, when we are, uh, we're not in, you know, bringing them back home, we're just opening the door to people who are already our family. And I think that's important for us to uh, 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 remember that, that uh, this, you know, these artificial borders um, uh, cannot uh, divide us. In fact, that is one of the fundamental principles in the United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples. These borders cannot uh, uh, divide an Indigenous nation, an Indigenous people. Um, and that's really what we're practicing here. I know that being outside Winnipeg in Canada, um, it's a little different, but my heart is with the Manitoba Métis Federation and I think that it's my job to make sure that our future generations, my children and my grandchildren, know about it as well and so that tradition carries on. In our view, you're still part of our land and uh, that map shows you where we believe our citizens to be and where our citizens will exist and where we will do our power, anything in our power to protect our citizens. It's not something where you have the luxury of letting that go by. Be part of something, be part of your Métis Nation, your Red River Métis Nation, and uh, take part in it all. I think about my child going to university and having the help of the Manitoba Métis Federation. I feel like that makes my ancestor smile because he will contribute positively.